Today we're talking all about selling your items online. I do not do any additional shopping. I will take items from my own closet, my sister's closet, and basically anyone who wants to get rid of stuff and give it to me to sell, I will take it and list it on my Mercari or Poshmark. So let's go over the process that I use so that you can start making money off your own wardrobe and figure out which one of these platforms you prefer the other and just really see how easy it is to do. I was a bit intimidated when I first started and didn't think I would really make any profit, but it's been pretty successful. I honestly prefer the web platforms of both of these rather than the app portion for creating listings, so that's why I'm showing you on my desktop. So first is the ability to post. Mercari allows you to make that first listing without any personal information, but if you want to make a second one, you're going to have to enter your credit card, which is a bit scary, but I did it. It was fine. Just something that you need to think about. Whereas Poshmark, you never have to enter your card information unless you want to get paid. All right, so now we go to Poshmark and you're going to click on sell on Poshmark. Then you're going to drag over your pictures. You can drag up to 16 photos and even video content. I sold a hair dryer and I showcased that it actually worked where you can show like the flowiness of an outfit and different things like that. After I upload my photo, I like to open up a new browser and look for comps on both Mercari, Poshmark and see how much the item was original unless you already have the tags that will tell you. I always like to check the ones that I've actually sold because you can ask anything you want, but it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to sell for that price. I also take this time to look at people's descriptions and categories and see what was successful as far as their tags. Category, if you're selling more than one of this item, you can even do that. List the brand, the colors, add some style tags, and then the pricing. Each of these is going to ask for the original price as well as your listing price if you're willing to give a shipping discount and different things like that. Now on to Mercari. It has a similar platform. You just drag and drop the photos. This one you can only use up to 12. No videos. It's pretty similar. You have the tags, your categories. If the item has tags, you list it here, the colors, etc. Posting is a tie. I do like Mercari's draft feature where you can leave an item in your draft, come back to it later, and then post it to create more frequently posted listings. Whereas Posh Mark, you can create a listing, place it not for sale, but it is going to be public, so it's going to be seen that same exact day rather than creating listings that will kind of trickle in daily. It's just going to be all there. Next is shipping. Shipping is a big thing. When I purchase something, I want free shipping. I never put free shipping on my listings, but it is something you need to consider because Mercari goes by per pound, so you need to weigh your item with the packaging, do the length, all of that if you need to, or you can make an estimate. So you need to really look at the item and be like, okay, are people really willing to pay extra shipping for this item or not? Whereas Poshmark has a five pound base and I believe it's like seven something, which is still kind of expensive, but they do do deals. So now let's address deals and sales because both selling platforms, you're selling used items. So people want to feel like they're getting a good deal. Poshmark has closet clear out, like I mentioned before, which means if you discount your item by 10% on certain days, Poshmark will give shipping a discount to $4.99 for the buyer and Poshmark's taking the hit for that, not you. Offers to likers, I don't really like to use because it forces you to take the hit on shipping and I just really don't like to do that. However, you can get around this by making an offer to your liker individually by adding it to their basket and giving them a discounted price without taking the hit for shipping. Mercari, on the other hand, you can discount to the public to make it more visible and higher on the platform for publicity, like I mentioned, and you can also offer it to likers without having to take any of the shipping hit. If you have an item that's not frequently being searched for, Poshmark has the ability to share your item throughout the day several times a day. Mercari, however, you are forced to lower the price every time you share it until it reaches the bottom line of $9, then it just kind of sits there. Overall, I still use both platforms. I do find that items that are going to resell for higher sell more on Mercari. I've sold two listings on there and made over $100. 
people are willing to pay more, but the shipping is such a hit that I do not put a lot of listings on Mercari. So I've sold more items on Poshmark, but I've generated more income per listing on Mercari. So just use both or figure out which one you like better, but be aware that you are going to take a hit for shipping when it comes to Mercari in one way or the other. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment below saying if you've used either of these platforms and how you feel about them. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!